The following is a lecture on the appearance day of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on March 2, 1975, in Atlanta, Georgia. Hundred and one years, one years ago, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he appeared on this day. Uh, so, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur is Gaura Shakti. Gaura Shakti means empowered. Uh, empowered by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he wanted his mission to be broadcast. What is that sound? All over the world, he desired. Prithivite ache jato nagaradi gram sadbatra prachar haive mandra. Prithivite all over the world. As many towns and villages are there, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu predicted that his mission will be spread. This prediction was made by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu personally uh, five hundred years ago. So, uh, perhaps uh, my Guru Maharaj, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, hmm, attempted to fulfill the desire of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and sometimes and the year 1918, he was brahmachari and Bhakti Thakur, his material father, he wanted, actually, he wanted, Bhakti Thakur, of course everyone wanted that he wrote one small book, uh, teachings of Lord Chaitanya, teachings and precepts of Lord Chaitanya. In, in, in 1896, uh, 1896, and he presented that book to the McGill University in Canada, and he very much desired that the foreigners, especially Americans, would join this movement. Uh, that was his desire in 1896. Uh, and then in 1918, my Guru Maharaj started with this mission, one in institution known as Gauriyamat. <coughs> Perhaps some of you know the name Gauriyamat. And he was trying to spread this message of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And by chance or by prediction, as you think, I was taken to Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur by one of my friends. Uh, I did not want to go there, but he forcibly took me there. Yes. And he ordered me that you preach the cult of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in English language. This is very much essential. On the first meeting, he told me like that. That was my first meeting with him. At that time, I was uh, in favor of Gandhi's movement. 
So I say that we are, I'm going to say, not independent, subjugated. Uh, we'll hear about our message. Uh, so Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur refuted my argument. I was very much pleased. I had so many talks. Mm, but I was very much pleased to be defeated. Uh, that this uh, so-called nationalism or any ism, they are all temporary. The real need is the self-realization. So I was convinced, but at that time, uh, although he wanted me to immediately join him and spread this movement, so at that time I was a married man, young man, I was married in, 18, in 1918, and I got a son also at the time, 1921, and in 1922 I met him. At that time I was manager in a big chemical factory. So I thought that I am a married man, I have got so many responsibilities, how I can join immediately. It is not my duty. Of course that was my mistake. I should have joined immediately. <laughs> I should have taken the opportunity immediately. But Maya is there. So I thought like that. So that's a long history. And then in 1954, no, not 1950, 1968, when I was 54 years old. 1954, yes. 1954, I was at that time 58 years. So I left home and I was living alone. Then 1958, I took some nurse. <coughs> and then I decided to take up the uh, responsibility of my Guru Maharaj. I thought that my other God-brothers are trying, so I am not capable to do it. They are better situated. But somehow or other they could not do very much appreciative activities in this connection. So when I was seventy years old, I decided now I must do it uh, and execute the order of my Guru Maharaj. And thus this movement was started in 1965 from New York. And I was not very much hopeful because uh, it is very difficult task uh, just opposite the European and Western culture. Um, I came, when I first came I had no money, so uh, I got a free passage uh, through some Indian steam navigation company. So I came by ship. So when I was on the ship at Bo um, Boston port, Commonwealth Court. I was thinking that I have come here, I do not know what is the purpose, because how the people will accept this movement. They are differently uh, educated, and as soon as I will say, so my dear sir, 
you have to give up meat eating. And it is his sex and no intoxication and gambling, they will say, please go home. <laughs> because that was the experience. Uh, one of my god brother, he went to London and he had the opportunity to talk with one big man. Marquis of Jetland. Marquis of Jetland was formerly governor of Bengal. At that time I was student. He was Scotsman and I was student of the Scottish Charters College. So he came to see our college and he was standing in front of me in the second year class. So he is very nice, good gentleman. So he proposed to my godbrother whether you can make me a Brahman. So my godbrother proposed, yes, we can make anyone Brahmana, provided you follow this principle. No illicit sex, no intoxication, no meat eating, no gambling. So that Lord Jetland immediately replied, impossible. <laughs> so I was thinking that I will propose something which is impossible. Anyway, let me try. <laughs> so now by the grace of Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, <coughs> and in the presence of my Guru Maharaj, you are so nice boys and girls. So in front of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you are chanting Hare Krishna mantra and you are taking part in it very seriously. So my Guru Maharaj will be very, very much pleased upon you and bless you with all benefits. So he wanted this, and he is not, it is not that he is dead and gone. That is not spiritual understanding. Uh, even an ordinary living being, he does not die. Na hanna te hannamane sarire. And what to speak of such exalted, authorized personality like Bhakti Siddhanta? He is saying, I never feel that I am alone. Of course, when I came to your country without any friend, without any means, uh, practically just like a Bhagavan Raiji. But I had full faith that my Guru Maharaj is with me. Uh, I never lost this faith. And this is fact. Uh, there are two words, bani and bopu. Bani means words, and bopu means his physical body. So, bani is more important than the bopu. Bopu will be finished. This is material body. It will be finished. That is the nature. Uh, <coughs> But if we keep to the bani, to the words of spiritual master, uh, then we remain very fixed up. It doesn't matter. Just like Bhagavad Gita, it was spoken five thousand years ago. Uh, but if you keep to the words of Krishna, then it is always fresh and guiding. Not that because Arjun personally listened to Krishna about the instruction of Bhagavad Gita, therefore he knew it. That is not a fact. If you accept Bhagavad Gita as it is, then you should know that Krishna is present before you in his words. And the Bhagavad Gita. 
This is called spiritual reality. It is not mundane historical incidences. Uh, if we keep evam param praapraptam imang rajal sayavidu sakanena juvanastha parantha. If you don't keep in touch with the original link, then it will be lost. And if you keep uh, touch with the original link, then you are directly hearing Krishna. Similarly, Krishna and Krishna's representative, spiritual master, if you keep always intact in link with the words and instruction of the superior authority, then you are always fresh. This is spiritual understanding. Uh, Nitya śāsvatayam purāna. Purāna means very old. That is Krishna, the Supreme Being, He must be very old because He is the original person. But the Brahma Sāṅgita says, Addaite acchita nādi ananta rūpam Adhyang Purana Purusha Navajovanj. Purana Purusha, the oldest person, but you will find him Navajovanj, always a fresh youth. That is God. God is not a material that it gets old. The body gets old. So you are hearing this philosophy daily, uh, try to understand more and more. We have got so many books. And this is the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and my disciples' succession, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, then my spiritual master. Then we are trying our level best. Similarly, you will also try your level best on the same principle. Then it will go on. Same principle. It doesn't matter whether one is born in India or outside India. No. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Prithivite Asirato Navaradigram, as many towns and cities and villages are there, he did not say it to make a fuss. Uh, he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. <coughs> so, that <coughs> sometimes I am very much criticized that I am making foreigners a brāhmaṇa, the caste brahmins in India. They are very much against me. But that is, this is not fair. Uh, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said that all over the world his message will be broadcast, does it mean that it will be simply a cinema show? No. He wanted that everyone should become perfect Vishnu. That is his purpose. Uh, it is not to make a farce, some lecturing and, and some, or some mutual praising society. No. It is Krishna society. Everyone who has joined this Krishna society movement, he is more than a Brahmin. Brahmin, what is Brahmin? Brahmin is also material. Uh, a devotee is more than Brahmin. The Brahminical culture is included already. Brahma janati ti Brahman. Brahmana means one who knows the absolute truth. Brahma. He is Brahman. But that is not very fixed 
ब्रह्मे थी परमात्मे थी भगवान इति शब्द थे ब्रह्म इज इम्पर्सनल इफॉल एंड एंड देन फॉर दैट प्रोग्रेस रियलाइजेशन ऑफ द लोकलाइज आस्पेक्ट परमात्मा ऑन टू जर्नी फाइनली अंडरस्टैंडिंग द सुप्रीम पर्सन कृष्ण सुप्रीम पर्सन दैट इज द फाइनल अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो पीपल कैनॉट अंडरस्टैंड द हाउ द सुप्रीम द ओरिजिन ऑफ एवरीथिंग कैन बी अ पर्सन दैट इज दे आर डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज वे आर थिंकिंग पर्सन गॉड हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल गॉड इज ग्रेट एंड ही इज द क्रिएटर एवरीथिंग हाउ ए पर्सन कैन डू दैट येस दैट इज द बेजिक वेब चैन ईश्वर परम कृष्ण सच्चिदानंद विग्रह अनादि राधि गोविंद सर्व कारण कारण ही इज द कॉज ऑफ ब्रह्म ही इज द कॉज of super soul so ordinary man cannot understand avajananti man mudha manasin tanumas he requires krishna's grace to understand so try to receive krishna's grace through the disciplic succession चैतन्य महाप्रभु देन विल अंडरस्टैंड एवरीथिंग जस देवी परा भक्ति यथा देवी तथा गुरो दिस इज द प्रोसेस बेरिक प्रोसेस वन शुड हैव अनफिंचिंग फेथ इन गॉड एंड श्री चर्मस डोंट जंप ओवर गॉड क्रॉसिंग द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर देन इट इज फेल यूर You must go through. You are observing Vash Puja ceremony, the birth anniversary of our Guru Maharaj. We cannot understand Krishna without spiritual master. That is bogus. Uh, if anyone wants to understand Krishna. Uh, jumping over the spiritual master, then immediately becomes a bogus. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, "Guru Krishna Kripa Pai Bhakti Rata Beach." That is very the answer. That is the pani paake na, pani pasne na, sevaya. Nobody can understand Krishna. Without going through his most confidential servant, this is the meaning of this best puja. You cannot surpass if you think that you have become very learned and very advanced. Now you can avoid a spiritual master and you understand Krishna. That is bogus. That is the meaning of this best puja ceremony. Uh, we should always uh, pray just sab prasada to Bhagavat Prasad. Just sab prasada. Only by the grace of spiritual master we can achieve the grace or mercy of Krishna. This is the meaning of this best puja. How many of these things are by parampara system? Uh, So you have taken a very nice uh, line of activity, spiritual activities. Uh, of course, as far as possible, uh, we have tried to give you uh, instruction, books, but remain always helpful to the spiritual master and try to understand Krishna. And if you simply understand Krishna, then your life is success. Dharma karma chadibam me jo jana chitap. 
the human life is meant for understanding Krishna. That is the perfection of uh, Any other so-called understanding, that is simply waste of time. Because we are under the <coughs> grip of the material nature. You may be very learned scholar, you may be a fool, it doesn't matter. You are under the laws of material nature. Uh, so before finishing this uh, small span of life, we have got this human form of life, it will be finished as the cats and dogs' life also finished. But if we try through the uh, guru and Vaishnava, then we can achieve in this life the full success, not failure like cats and dogs' life. That is the opportunity. So, uh, as far as possible, we are trying to lead you in this line, and you kindly follow, uh, then your life will be successful. That is the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He wanted to deliver this fallen soul, the conditioned soul, rotting in this material world. Uh, the Krishna Himself, Krishna comes Himself, Krishna sends His devotees, Krishna comes as devotee just to execute this mission to reclaim the fallen soul from the clutches of illusory energy material world. Thank you very much. Tira, 